In today's video, I'm decorating the inside of my spring home in Bloxburg. So basically, last video, I built this gorgeous exterior and I also built a gorgeous back garden. Like this is beautiful stuff. And so today we're gonna be doing the interior, but just before we actually decorate it, I thought I'd show you what my plans are. So as we go through the front door, obviously it's very dark at the moment. Where's the light? To the left, I was thinking we this could be like the family room, basically the living room. And of course, here's our entry, which is huge. huge. Down this hallway um it's just gonna be like a really aesthetic little seating bit and then through here's the garage actually in the garage not only do we have a laundry room but we also have a pantry and then if we go through this door in the entryway this takes us through to the dining room and a big kitchen and then finally in here is going to be a sunroom and then as we go upstairs we actually have four bedrooms which i thought was perfect for a family home this is the master bedroom i'm so excited to do this it has its own bathroom and closet and stuff here is going to be just another bedroom another bedroom a family bathroom over here Although so, there's not actually a window in here yet. It's a bit depressing in here. And finally, my favorite room. This one just has so much light in it. I'm so excited for it. But yeah, let's actually start building. I think I'm going to go in the most random order. I'm honestly going to go in like order of my favorite rooms. We'll start off the entryway. Then I think I'm going to do a bedroom or something. I'm going to start off with lighting. That is actually such an underrated part of a house. I make mine flint and then I raise it all the way up to get natural lighting in my build. And I always put it underneath the floor. I want there to be a lot of color in this house, like a pastel blue feature wall for example i'm actually thinking i've just used these pillars literally from the outside of our house because it's kind of a farmhousey vibe and then as we go up i was thinking what do the farmhouse fences look like but uh, <laughs> they are tragic next up i don't know why i put these stairs in they're so expensive now i come to think about it i remember why i did it now i wanted to do a building hat kiss i thought why not have a shelf unit we need to maximize space well we don't this is literally a mansion but i still don't want to waste snow space. I always just recommend giving things a try in Bloxburg. And then, whoa, what's this? If I remember, cause I think we just like slant this and <laughs> just shove it in there. Cha da Look at what I have made. All that's left to do is fill it up. And I was thinking with a nice seat. So if we just, oh my gosh, we can just move this. <laughs> that looks kind of cute. I decorated it to try and make it look more nice. No, you know what? I'm actually quite happy with that. So we did dive into that. We forgot to add the floor, the wall trims, doors, even some shelves, which if we slow down for a second over on this wall i actually had a magnificent idea you freak I was thinking we could make this whole sort of wall sitch over here, just massive shelves. And then behind it, having like a painting, we can make this some sort of custom ordeal. This is so different, isn't it? T to me, I kind of like it. So a shelf is isn't really a shelf without some items on it. Let's add these. Surface decor is gonna be our savior here. Who would think to add a book holder? Not me. Love sit, that looks amazing in this massive tall entryway we've got here. The last few things that we need to pop in here are I'd say some plants in the corner of course next up we're gonna have an umbrella stand oh my gosh i'm changing the time i'm god next up is umbrella stands and i love an umbrella in real life guys who else loves an umbrella they are the biggest life hack in the world that people just don't appreciate. You're telling me I just hold a stick and my whole outfit stays dry. And for the carpet, I am going to add a custom carpet. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Do you know what would just be the best thing, though? That does look amazing. But if Bloxburg just added floor decals, how hard can it be just to... Rotate the decal item. Next up, I thought we'd add a chandelier and I am actually using the pearly one. You might have thought I'd use the traditional chandelier like I always do. However, the style of this build is classic Bloxburg. And what's more classical than these hanging orbs? Remember earlier when we added those lights, you can always delete them if it gets a little too bright. Notice guys, I've actually just added some structural beams on here just for that little extra crevice with detail. And as a final stretch, I just went mental, mental, chicken oriental with the details. Wonderbar, this is the entryway print much done we'll obviously add some extra bits later on but i added these custom doors just some random jars paintings the whole shebang but let's head upstairs now and do a bedroom the first one i think i'm gonna do is this one because it was my favorite if you remember me saying and finally my favorite room this one notice how i'm remembering to turn the roof off now i have such a weird addiction of building with the roof on but no one can blim and see a thing when i do that it's gonna be not only sage green extra sagey green guys that this is super sagey 
And I thought sage was something you used to burn spirits away. Well, this room can never be haunted then. What I think this should be, I kind of want it to be like a kid's room, you know? So I'm going to add this bunk bed. But it's only going to be one kid's room, you see. But let's do some more built-in stuff. Basically, what's whirring around in my mind right now is we could put closets built into the front here. Also in the comments, lots of you guys have been suggesting I use the leaves texture. You are so right, guys. That is beautiful. Thank you, whoever left that comment. In here, I guess, we should put, let's give them a map. But guys, oh my gosh, this is such like a vibey place, you know? This is such a good building hack, guys. Just use this bed and you basically get built-in shelves, desks. Since it's kind of like it's a gaming setup, let's add three lines. Now we just have so much more room. We've done a bed, we've done a desk, we've done a closet. What else do you add in room like this? A sofa. This over here is going to be like if you have the lads over for a sleepover. Not only that, I kind of want to add a TV like on the wall, but it's hanging down from the ceiling. Does that make sense? Then we can put an Xbox on here. Wait, why, why am I making this like a full-blown living room? Finally in here, let's add like a little guitar. Maybe they're a guitar, guitar, A guitar. Maybe they're a guitar kind of guy. And I'm so sorry, but I don't want to give too much away before the tour, but that is a beautiful room. All I need to do is actually change the door and oh, and I, oh. The eager eye among of you may have noticed I actually decorated the upstairs hallway pretty much. I thought, you just saw me build the downstairs one. Y'all don't need to see me build two hallways in one video. So next up, let's go down to the kitchen dining. I'm thinking that we have pretty much the same floor down the bottom here. And also, where's the flavor of this floor? We need to add some flavor. Where's the flavor? So I've layered it. And then over in the kitchen, I thought we could do checkered tiles. And I'm talking old school tiles. Like, look at these. Just completely plain black and white. And oh my gosh, I'm, I'm obsessed with this, even though we can't see it at the moment. Next up is wall trims. And oh, yes! Oh, sorry, that, that was very extreme. I was just worried that these wouldn't cover up that, like, roof bit. And over here... Here as well. Yeah! Woohoo! We'll then add these tiny little fin fences, which literally do nothing. So along this back wall, remember I was talking about colour. When you think about it, Bloxburg only has about five colours. Are you blind? <laughs> so the dining room are going to be sort of yellow themed. And then the kitchen is going to be sort of grey themed. Let's get started. Our first counter is going to be this one. And we can't forget rustic cabinets. Cabinets are just such a crucial part. Actually, I remember in the last video, we actually colored this really nice blue. I want that to be the color of all the appliances. I'm telling ya. You can make the chocolate fountain blue. That's disgusting. Disgusting. Once again, these shelves have come in far handier than I thought they would. We can just use them at every blimmin' occasion. I suppose we should add soap, guys. Like, let's try and be a little bit hygienic. And even just some more of these ridiculous little sticks, to be honest. And isn't it insane how a texture can just completely change a room? Do you know what? I've just had a marvellous idea. Why don't we have a hidden pantry? I think Khloe Kardashian had this. We all know her iconic pantry. Look at my pantry! Oh, come on. So we're just going to have a fake bookshelf door. And that way we can actually, we can just continue the kitchen over here. And in my kitchens, I always fill them up so much. Like I genuinely forget to leave space for chopping. But where are we meant to chop in here? I suppose we could chop over there. Because since this is a role play home, you actually need to have to like cook in here. A lot of you guys were asking in the last video. And some of you were like DMing me. By the way, if you want to DM me, just follow me on Instagram. But some of you were DMing me like, oh, are you going to start doing role plays, Reese's? And the simple answer is no. <laughs> this is a build channel and I quite frankly don't think you or me would really like role plays. Do you know what I mean? I'm a builder guys. I'm not a, I'm not an actor and I love a long video like this guys. A long build is genuinely one of my favorites to do. Obviously the challenges like the short builds they are fun but just doing long builds like this will never get old. If we grab like this French door and then raise it up it's definitely not ideal spacing, but it's not bad. You know, if, if worse comes worse, just add a plant, guys. And then the whole point of having this little extra bit savoured at the end was because I wanted to have a little round dining table, just like the kitchen table. And then obviously we're about to go do the dining room. But it can never hurt having a kitchen table. In my house, I also have a kitchen table and it's just so handy if it's like a little quick meal that you want to just sit down there and eat. I forgot, just before we go into the dining room, we actually have to do the pantry. Basically just making this look normal, even though that this is like the most important fake door I've ever seen in my life. And then actually, I don't think we need a door in from the garage. Like, why do you need two entrances to the pantry? Like, anyway, let me stop, like, finding all the flaws in my own design. And here we go. Well, it's very dark in here. We need to be able to see in the middle of the night when we're sneaking all of our snacks. What do you mean? Also, random thing. I forgot to add a toaster. <laughs> let me add a toaster. You know what? Maybe we can have the toaster in the pantry. Like, it's like there's some spare bits in here. <gasps> 
Oh no, I'm gonna go on a tangent, aren't I? We need to make like a Khloe Kardashian pantry. I have everything in excess. She must have some like baskets and stuff. And finally, I finished the kitchen off with pendants and beams. No spoilers, guys, but this, oh my gosh, oh my god! What in the world was that voice crack? I'm sorry, but I'm just so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see this when we go in and do the tour. Actually, kind of soon. So once again, we've got another hallway. This house is actually low-key so big. Like, why is there so many hallways? Well, it's a good thing I like my house is junky. Like I'm junky. Also, in this little hallway, I've decided I might just add some of these bookcases look quite nice. And always do, like, two variants of bookcases, guys. Because when you copy and paste them, you obviously don't want them to be identical. And there we go. Oh, my gosh. This is just so simple but beautiful. I honestly can't wait to raise a family here. <laughs> and I'm not going to use a Victor's dining table. They're too thin. And actually, I think even for me, in a house like this, it's too fancy. I reckon we should actually use big chairs over here. And now that I've placed these, okay, maybe maybe we should make the table just, just a tad bigger. There we go. Now there's actually some separate. You're not actually going to be shoved up onto Auntie Janice when you're sat at the table now. We're going to have to do the good old-fashioned basic cube, aren't we? On the middle of the table, it might sound crazy, but I'm going to add a plant pot. And in the plant pot, I'm going to add just a million tulips. And I've made them white and blue and then a runner from outside. I forget, this is all the same build. And I'm sorry I actually had to make this a two-parter, guys. I only do it when it's massive builds that are going to take ages. Anyways, swiftly moving onwards, we'll have some paintings. In this bookshelf wall that I've sort of constructed over here. I'm going to put a pillar in the middle. And then if we resize her out, then we've got ourselves like a really nice bookshelf wall. I know the bookcases are a little bit full on in here now, but I absolutely love this. Honestly, I think that's good for this whole back bit. I'm thinking we should do the master bedroom and closet. We're going to start with this and I'm actually going to delete this door because I want this to be like a two part thing. I did just have to move this light. Hang on, rather than having doors, I've just had a flashback. I used archways to, to join them together and then actually interlink them as well. I think that's such a sick idea. So for the closet, I did want to use these, but they look a little bit too fat, to be honest. Let's put these in instead. And we're once again going to be using these pillars, although they're going to look slightly different. And oh yeah, babes, that is just stunning. And it's perfect. Like, it's the perfect width. And why not colour it like a gender reveal? As per usual, business as usual. Okay. Business as usual, babes. As we move into the bathroom, only two of the walls are going to be tile. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I didn't know what one to add, guys, but we're going to add this one, I've decided. The whole point of this is to be different from my regular mansions. Over on this side here, we're going to put the double sink unit, and I just zhuzhed this up a bit. I really don't like using just hanging towels, but there's not actually that much room in this ensuite, so we will have to put one there. We can't forget the actual toilet. This is where you're going to be doing your morning business, really. The best part about adding roof beams when it's on the second floor is it doesn't matter how messy you get it because there's just a roof above. So the feature wall in this room is going to be blue. Let's see if we can eradicate even this massive stain. I had a feeling it would be harder. But you know what guys? We're just gonna build a fake wall and we're gonna actually try and make it look kind of real. I mean it does look a little bit suspicious on the top but I, I think that's fine. The bed on this one I feel like we should go with this. Oh yeah. Why did that sound like I was getting some sort of massage? Oh yeah. For the table lamps I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and once again Pull out a building hat. I'm just pulling these out my absolute bum today. I, I don't have like a obsession with zebras. Like they're not even my favorite animal. I think my favorite animal is a giraffe or a toucan. But I do really like the zebra print on the lamp. So I've just added that. Just above the bed, we're going to have some large pillows. Oh. And once again, this is just so amazing. Like, I honestly am lost for what to put. I feel like we've got everything. However, we haven't actually got a desk, so uh, ignore what I'm saying. <laughs> These shelves are just, they're the anthem of this video, aren't they? We'll actually give this like a full-blown computer. I'm pretty sure I just gave the kids' room a laptop. And also, as I was snooping in electronics, I forgot about cameras. I haven't added cameras in ages. Like, I don't think we should have them inside the house. Bit of an invasion of privacy. But why haven't we got cameras, like, on the outside of my house, guys? This was such a big update when it came out and then I feel like everyone just forgot about it. But yeah, that is the master bedroom done as well. So since you guys have seen me build two bedrooms and a bathroom now, look how quickly I sped through the other ones. And I'm not going to give too much away before the tour, but they are all done now. So, so what we have left to do, guys, are these three little rooms. So the sun room is basically going to be just another version of the entryway. It's not actually going to be one of those sitting sun rooms. It's basically going to be a place for you to change your shoes. I think it's called the food cabinet, which is just 
just so stunning. The one issue, as you guys know, is that there's bowls and plates in there. I don't wear bowls as shoes, guys. So basically what you do is you just add a basic shape in there. And there you go. How much better does that look? Now you can't actually fit that many shoes in here. Why am I looking up pillows? But that's kind of a good thing because the slippers are just so ugly. It's basically going to be that room where in reality you'd throw all your junk. So let's see how quickly we got that sunroom done. Next up, the garage is basically going to have the same floor as outside. Then along the back, and the front will have those wooden planks. So I know I said we're trying to make it realistic and limos are very, very expensive, but I just really, really wanted one. And then we also need like a family car as well. And oh gosh, oh, oh no, everything's going wrong. I've colored it the same as a tree. Along the back, I'm going to put some of these. And the perfect thing to go into is maintenance when doing garages. I mean, I don't know if that's obvious. Someone on the last video or one of the last videos said, you love pointing out the obvious, don't you, Reese's? What's up, dog? This place is killer. And in the garage, of course, we won't be using a chandelier. I'm actually going to use the elderly ceiling lamp. Now, I don't know why it's called this, but I actually have special memories with this. Not in a weird way, but I used to only use this lamp in every build. It was cheap. And not only that, guys, I taught all my friends to do the same. So um, all of their builds were really ugly. Then we'll replace this door. And here's our little laundry room. It's going to be essentially a mini version of the kitchen. But when you look up aesthetic Bloxburg laundry room, there is literally about a gazillion options. To start with, I'm just going to put my three counters. And then if we go into household, this is really going to tell us the rest that we need. So I don't know when they added detergent, but one day it just sort of appeared, didn't it? The washing machines are going to go over in this corner. I'm going to use a coat rack on the side over here. And these can hang off as towels. Finally, voila, we are at the living room, the family room. She is the moment room. And she is the moment. So let's get rid of these musty, dusty lights. All of the walls in here are mostly going to be white. I'm going to lay the floor in here to be logs. <gasps> I am going to be stealing a couple of these bookcases with the entertainment center. This is just a gift from Bloxburg, really, isn't it? I remember back in the day, I, I wouldn't know how to fill a large living room. And they just gave us this. In here, I do want a carpet, but I'm just going to use a good old Bloxburg carpet, guys. Don't you worry about that. Sometimes it's nice to just use what Bloxburg has to offer. For our seat. I am going to actually switch up to be not modern, but like a little bit of a, a switch up in here. Like, as you can see, using this modern chair over here and then this chair. And then a nice coffee table in the middle, which I always advise adding these books. The motion that I have waving. Yeah, this is the lounge room. And then we have this whole massive other space. So what do you do when you have a large space? You add a piano. You also add another little bookcase reading area if you can. Finally, I've been racking my brain for about five minutes for what to put in this part here. I have the perfect idea. I was thinking we can't put another carpet, but do you know what kind of carpet we can put? The good old classic spinning carpet. The whole entire roleplay home is mine. There's only one thing to do. ABC for rich mom. Okay, chickens. Oh, I'm up a bit close and personal here. It's the moment we've waited for since last video we obviously have seen the outside of this house looking just stunning but doesn't it look even better when there's all rooms inside and stuff but i know what what we can't just wait for we just have to go inside as you open up the front door oh my gosh this is my new home guys it's massive i can hear an echo <laughs> <laughs> so if we go into a bit of cinematic view, this is the entryway as a whole. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Like, you can definitely tell it was built by me, which I love. But it also feels a little bit different. We obviously have the shelves and the little seat bit here. Does this actually work? Oh, oh, wow. This is an amazing way to sit. Oh, it kind of works if you're at the back. And then obviously we have the glass doors here. And if we look up, I'm just obsessed with this detail. I'm obsessed. What the hell? Oh, and by the way, the artwork is so basic. We're going to be ignoring that. And this car as well. Soleil. I did forget to show the price. So before I forget again, this plot values at 1.1 million. That is perfect value of a family home. If we go to the right, there's not actually much this way. I did add this hallway, which I didn't actually show me adding, but it's really cute. with like these little butterfly paintings and the modern one. And this, of course, leads us to the garage. So we have our family car and then the limo. And then we also have cars out there. We have many cars. The laundry room. I, I'm just obsessed with this. Like, it's been a while since I've built a big house, which actually has like every 
every room you need. It feels like we've already looked at a lot because that is sort of the right side of the house. If we go to the left side of the house, this should be looking familiar to you. Hey, I think I know you. Once again, if we fly around, it is just gorgeous in here. Now it's a little bit more empty than I maybe would have liked at the end of the day, but I still think I did the best job I could. Like I almost made this room too big, but I didn't really know what else to add, you know? And then if we go through these gorgeous custom doors, oh my gosh, this looks so realistic. This is my dining room. I think it's the yellow. I love this. It's like suburban almost. I'm in an episode of Desperate Housewives or something. I'm loving it. Just before we go through to the kitchen, we have the sunroom, which leads us into the garden. Oh my gosh, this is just beautiful stuff. And then if we go fully to the right, this is our kitchen. It kind of looks like it's not actually going to be that big, but it's humongous when you actually get in here. Do you know what I mean? We have another back door here. I love when a house has lots of back doors, so I'm happy mine does. We have the kitchen table, the actual kitchen, and then of course, I'm gonna lock this because you can't actually like, accidentally use it. We have my pantry. I love this house. It just feels like Doc 2's TARDIS. It doesn't look that big from the outside, but it's actually massive inside. So as we go upstairs, oh my gosh, it's been a while as well since I've done a full upstairs. To the right, the entire sort of right side of the house is the master bedroom. If we sit here, we can check our security cameras. Wow. Oh, we actually have some good views, you know? And then of course we have like the bed and stuff. And the view out the window is not actually that good because the roof's kind of blocking it. And then in here we have the closet, which leads through to the bathroom and back into the bedroom. I love that it does that. The views out here are actually really, really good. If we go next door to this, we have, oh yeah, this is one I did off camera. I thought this would be like a teenager's room. Maybe they're in high school or college. So I gave them a nice desk to do some schoolwork on, some Polaroid pictures and a bit of an orangey feature wall. Again, a good view as well. Just next door. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I picked this Steve Lacey painting. I don't actually know who he is. I just looked up a music poster. But I feel like this is a vibey teenage room as well. Maybe about 15 or something. I gave him this really cool like TikTok sort of closet. A little bunk bed again and then an actual sofa. And they also get amazing views. And I always feel like these kids on TikTok are really rich. So this house sort of suits it. So in here is the family bathroom. It's actually very, very basic. So let's leave now. And finally, well, second finally actually let's just appreciate the hallway in itself up here it's really beautiful finally we have the bedroom we did first how ironic just a gorgeous kids room and i'm so impressed with how it turned out so there we have it guys that concludes the two-part spring home series if you liked it do subscribe for more videos and i'll see you all next time